Secunda Pratica requires the text to be of equal importance with the music. Therefore the pain and drama of the text is reflected in the high degree of dissonance in the music. There are startling unprepared dissonances on beats 2 of bars 2 and 4. In bar 2, the C and A of the quinto and canto jar uncomfortably with the pedal G in the bass. The compound intervals of a major ninth and fourth are an effective harmonic device. Later at bar four the unprepared dissonance is even more searing. Here the compound intervals of a major ninth and augmented fourth clash harshly against the B-flat pedal in the bass. In the canto at bar 12, the falling diminished fifth of F to B natural is a typical example of melodic dissonance. The diminished fifth is not an idiomatic interval in vocal music. Here, the interval, with the surprising B natural, forces a modulation to C major, which is the subdominant major. Bars 16 to 17 are packed with dissonance, both melodic and harmonic. <laughs> melodic dissonance in the bass is achieved by the falling minor seventh from G to a pedal A. The C to C sharp of the quinto is surprising and changes the colour of the harmony whilst the following C-sharp in the alto clashes against the B-natural and Ds of beat 2. <laughs> On beat 4, the D, E and F clash against the G in the bass and cause a momentarily four-note cluster. Here the music comes to a momentary rest in D major, which is the dominant major. Note how the canto and alto step out and back into the harmony, eking out every last drop of dissonance. Hooray! 